any changes in your technique that we're going to see, particularly in stand up? Oh yeah, always. I mean, I've improved before that that I can strike too. That's that's no secret in my game. I, you know, I, I I thought I thought everybody on the sun. So there's no secret on my game. You can see you can you can take a look in YouTube. <laughs> All right. Good luck in the fight. Thank you. Um, before we go to the next question, I would just like to alert everyone that this Monday, uh, Strike Force is staging a public workout featuring Babalu, Tim Kennedy, Connor Hewen, and uh, Vangelista Cyborg. It will be at 1 o'clock at the Crav Mega National Training Center in West Los Angeles. It's on Olympic Boulevard, and you'll all be getting an alert later. But uh, 1 o'clock Monday, we're going to have a, uh, a, a media workout featuring those four fighters. Uh, next question, operator. My next question comes from MMA Junkie with John Morgan. Thank you. Uh, if I could start with Robbie, please. Robbie, can you can you talk about the difference in fighting at uh, 195 pounds and kind of what your preparation is? Have you been looking to bulk up at all, or does it just mean you don't have to cut? What's, what's the difference like for that? Yeah, hold on one second. Hey, John, I think that place is called uh, the Krav Maga. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm not too worried about my weight. I uh, decided that uh, I'm just going to eat what I want to. It's not worry about my weight. Um, I'm, I haven't tried bulking up, just uh, adding more fluids, taking a little more supplements than usual, but uh, staying on. Staying on. If I was going to weigh 190, I'd weigh 190. If I weigh 195, that's fine. I'm just going to work hard, and uh, that's what I've been doing. So it's definitely not a, a precursor to you maybe moving up or, or trying to continue with these type of fights. Uh, no, it's, it was just, a opportunity, uh, strike force asked if I could do a catch weight at 95 and Monty told me and I go, uh, how about 92? And then I was like, yeah, F it. I'll just, whatever. Let's do it. A fight to fight. All right. Thanks, Robbie. And for Baba Lou, please, uh, if you could also talk about that 195, uh, you know, weight cut, obviously you've been fighting a light heavyweight lately. What's, what's the difference in your approach, man? So as Rob said, I mean, I would like to say thanks to him to, to agree to fight me 185. I was kind of, you know, um, to make one, I haven't been 185 since I was, I don't know, 15 years old. And, and for me to make 185, um, that, 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 I mean, that's a good, good opportunity to fight a big name as Robbie. You no, know, he's a big name. He's a you know, big challenger, and it's good to to have. And honestly, I think you should make one more, more, a couple of different weight classes because jump from 205 to 185 is a big jump. 20 pounds is a huge jump. So it would be interesting to have more weight classes in the future. And, and Bob, what do you think about this uh, this fight? I mean, obviously you said it's a big name, you, you like it, but uh, you know, facing a striker after the way you lost last time is that exciting to you to go out and prove to people that you know that was a one-time thing, or is it dangerous because you still got that stuck in your head a little bit? What, what's it like facing another dangerous striker after, after losing that little weight last time? I want to say I, I lost I lost my last my last fight, and but it wasn't because I got it punch in the head from the top, but just because the guy took me down, so he, he tripped me and he took me down. I was lost on the ground. It wasn't because I, I lost by any try technique or instant. So it wasn't a bit of the problem. I, I mean, I, I, I will come back strong because I come back from the loss, you know, and, and I will come from his win track and I want to get back to my win track. That's pretty much what it is. Okay, thanks. And Scott, real quickly, you have the, the two uh, undercard fights that those been finalized at this point? Yeah, Mike, are you there? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Mike can get those to you. It's uh, two local guys, and um, yeah. one is uh, RJ Hopper. Okay. Can you get, uh, John, the, uh, uh, the undercard fights? Yeah, oh, we're going to send it out. Yeah, I'll okay. send it from John as well as everyone okay. else. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Our next question comes from Damien Martin with MMAweekly.com. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, first question for Robbie. You mentioned earlier about training in Arizona for this one. Uh, could you go into a little bit more detail about, you know, what you're doing out there and, and why not training at the hit squad in, uh, in, in your normal training camp? 
Uh, well, I got an opportunity. Uh, one of the fighters I'm training with is fighting a southpaw, so he called me and he was like, hey, could you come out? And I'm like, yeah, you guys got a lot of good wrestlers and went out there. These guys work very hard. Uh, at the hit squad right now, they just don't have a lot of guys at my weight, and uh, at this weight, they have a couple, couple guys, I think five guys in the UFC that fight at 185 and a 205 pounder. That's pretty good, so... And they're all hardworking, good wrestlers, so I've, uh, it was just a good opportunity. Yeah. Is that something you feel like you would do again in the future? I mean, obviously you're not leaving the hit squad, but like you said, the guys at your weight are, are you know, not there right now. Yeah, this I, I like training out here. Uh, these good group of guys, uh, fun to be around. They work very hard, and they push me, so this would be something I'd like to do. Okay. And uh, for Scott and, and the guys from Showtime, uh, not to take the attention away from this show, but uh, yesterday Evgeny Kogan told me that, uh, you know, with Fedor's next fight uh, with Strike Force, they're looking at possibly doing pay-per-view. Uh, obviously that would be with Showtime in conjunction. Can you guys comment on that at all? Is that something you guys are seriously looking at for uh, for that fight? Chris, you want to comment? You want me to do it? Well, I mean, I, I mean, from Showtime's standpoint, I would let's say let's get through June 26th first, as Scott had alluded to before. The fights are the fights. I mean, as far as pay per view down the line, that's something we have to cross uh, that bridge when we get to it. I mean, from your perspective, Scott, can you go any further? I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I think a lot, a lot, have, a lot will depend on what happens on the fight. But uh, you know, if uh, if if Fedor is still uh, has an unbonus record uh, and uh, you know, does it make sense to go on the pay-per-view business? I would say probably, but um, you know, that's 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 assuming a lot because uh, you know, Fabrizio Verdum is is uh, going to be a credible opponent, and um, you know, should he beat Fedor, then maybe uh, it's a different story. Okay, awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I have a quick question for uh, Scott. The the fight, your last fight, was such a, a grueling fight, it, and and as exciting as as anyone anyone could ever see in your rally was stupendous. How long did it take for you men, men, mentally and physically to get over that fight? Uh, physically, a little bit longer. Uh, once I got out here to Arizona, I started pushing it real hard, and uh, that was... Uh, when did I get out here? I don't even remember when I got out. Early May, started pushing real hard. That's when I started feeling really good. Uh, mentally, I was I was ready to go. I'm always mentally there where I believe in myself. I believe I can beat anyone, so that's, that's easy. Uh, the physical part's always, always the part uh, where you need to work hard and uh, get back into shape, and that's what I did. How would you rate that victory with other victories you've had in your great career? Uh, I think it was uh, one of my biggest because everyone knows what kind of striker he is. Everyone said you should take him down, which maybe I should have, but uh, to knock him out standing and to beat him on our feet where he's supposedly one of the best in the world uh, felt good. Hello? Our next okay. question comes from Jesse McCoven with There Will Be Blood. <laughs> the time. Um, my, my first question is for Babalu. Babalu, do you feel any added pressure in this fight because of your time off and because of the title shot that is now on the line? Let me tell you the truth. Always have pressure. <laughs> the pressure is always on. You don't feel any added pressure, though, because you, you, you're just coming off of a loss and you're taking some time off. Maybe will ring rust be a factor? The pressure is always on, man. It doesn't matter at all. The, the next fight, you always get always a more important fight in your life. All right, thank you. 